what is up guys this is Logan LRXC on Pokemon Showdown and today we got another round two match this is Gold Moist versus Fast Hands I don't even think these are their names but that's what we're gonna call them they're both 0-1 trying to get their first win in 83 Revival and give themselves a better chance at playoffs aka stage two let's get it lead Aerodactyl lead Charizard these are both really rare leads I'd say Aerodact I don't even know they're both really rare leads <clears throat> Zard is obviously thrown out here. Let's see what happens. In comes Flygon. I'm barely behind the live fight. So, um, yeah, here comes Flygon. In comes Pert on the Flygon. This makes sense. Um, Swampert wants to switch in the Flygon. I'm going to threaten an Ice Beam. What's Fast Hand's answer? The Suicune in the back. We got an interesting team from Fast Hands. Flygon, Suicune, Charizard. Um, the Flygon does have Protect. I wonder if there's a Magneton to pressure out Skarmory or if it's just going to be Suicune, Zard pressure. Fortress hates taking this Hydro Pump. Is it going to boom? No, it's just going to spike. So that makes sense. Set up some spikes. But this week is still looking quite threatening. And just fire off another Hydro Pump here. Misses into the Saddleby. That's bad. Let's see if Suicune has rest here. If it does, it's likely to click it here. Nope. We just see Ice Beam. Okay. It's just opting to get damage off onto the opponent. Um, we're going to die. Here comes Metacham. Mid game Metacham. That's interesting. On a recover. Uh, this threatens Shadow Ball. Here comes Titar into that Shadow Ball. Nice call from Gold Moist. Uh, is it banned? Yes, it is banned. Shadow Ball. Um, Metacham is just going to stay in and Shadow Ball again. Confused on that play. Metacham's getting pursued. You got to switch out now, even though you might die to pursuit. Oh, it wasn't banned. What? What? Why would you Shadow Ball again if you weren't banned? Wait a second. But what? What? Why wouldn't you just high jump kick there? I don't understand that. I guess, like, I don't even know. Trying to call the Celebi coming back in on the Suicune? I guess that was the crazy idea. Here comes Suicune as the pivotal, like, as a sacrificial pivot. We are back up to pace. Okay, Fast Hands is kind of moving. That was a weird stand. I wonder what item this Metacham is if it wasn't Leftovers and it isn't Choice Band. Maybe it's, like... Resto Chesto? I don't know. Aerodactyl in the back for Fast Hands. Okay, this is a fast-paced team. Um, what does Gold Moist have in the back? There's a Swapper. Doesn't want to take a double edge, though. Um, I don't know how Fast Hands really pressures Swapper now because Suicune's gone. In comes the double edge. A nice click from Fast Hands. They are moving versus Gold Moist. Um, really trying to get this victory. I'm liking the play so far. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, Swapper. I don't think it's going to protect. It has Toxic. Just elects to get another double edge off on a Toxic. Wow. Fast hands. I mean, I act, I don't even hate that play. Just getting more chip on the Swampert so that HP Grass from Zard can finish it off. Um, really, a lot of things could finish it off at this point. And Aerodactyl doesn't really mind getting Toxic that much. Holy crap. Fast hands with the switch into the Fortress. Good lord. What a double. I mean, that's just a great double. And in, here comes the sub on the boom come on fast hands great moves that's technically sub is arguably better than a fire blast there because fire blast could miss so i actually like that sub here comes aerodactyl big pressure does fast hands just go into flag on does gold moist call it no and they miss the rock slide wow fast hands is moving through this one i still don't understand how the team pressures swappert a lot wow it's sub flag on okay we're probably gonna see this could be sub three attacks with hp bug or it's sub toxic okay it doesn't seem to have toxic it's clicking earthquake i don't understand the earthquake there when rock slide does more damage i, I mean surely you just pivot to zard here yeah here comes zard on a psychic oh zard doesn't like taking that won't take another one on the switch in and does gold moist just go arrow on the fire blast no stays in with celebi just to drop okay i guess gold moist thinks that celebi being gone is worth it uh-oh now they're regretting it celebi's gone versus jolteon an insane jolteon wall here comes swampert does gold moist think this doesn't have hp grass i feel like this certainly has hp grass um really important for this team swampert ant matchup all right, it's clicking it. What if it's the fake and what if it's HP Ice? Could you imagine? I, oh, wow. There's also no leftovers on the Jolteon. Is it sub Bataya? What? Why would you not run? Is it like a cursed baton pass with White Herb? That's a crazy old tech. It is HP Grass. Okay. What does Gold Moist have in the back? 
if they go Aerodactyl, we know something that it's we know it's okay. It's something that hates Jolteon. Gold Moist is going for the speed tie here. Um Fast Hands could sacrifice something and then go into Flygon. I'm not sure if the players. Here comes Flygon in on the double edge. Nice call. Why did that kill? What? Why did that kill? That. Wait, Leftovers Flygon just dropped to double edge at 75. That's crazy. Either way, here comes Fast Hands. Gets to click a free Rock Slide, probably. Um, could click something else on the switch out. That would be crazy, though, to predict something that's unrevealed in the back. I think this is a very free rock slide. Here comes Moltres. Oh, Moltres is going to not drop. Oh, my gosh. Imagine if Moltres... Wait a second. But, okay, so... Okay, Gold Moist can still win, though. Gold Moist can still win. If they win the speed tie and win the speed tie on Jolteon, nope, but they don't even get a chance, and Fast Hands wins it. His hands were too fast. That was a really interesting game one i've got to say that was a, a surprisingly interesting game one let's see what game two has to offer and if gold moist can mount to come back all right we're on, to, we're on to game two i didn't click shuffle on the background music playlist so we're getting more earthbound po what polyrath hold on hold on jolteon lead titar lead and now polyrath without leftovers it seems has come in on a jolteon what in the world Polyrath has been used before. Um, there's a Polyrath set that I believe uh, Watermess innovated. It's like a def it's supposed to be a defensive mon with haze, and it's like a rocks. It's a rock resist that also shuts down Mono Surf Suicune because it has water absorbed, so it can do funny stuff like that. Um, you know, yeah. I forgot what the full set is, but I believe Jim Cool featured it on a video. Either way, this is Subpass into Titar. As the Jolteon tried to click Rain Dance. What, what in the world is this? Why is everybody and their mom trying to use Rain Dance? Here comes Crunch into the Jolteon. It's actually going to beat it down. Why doesn't Fast Hands use Leftovers on Jolteon? We will never know. HP Grass Super Effective on the T-Tar. And there's a Pursuit that doesn't kill because Sand isn't up. And Jolteon's going to get a Monster Thunderbolt here. But if it's the only Rain Dance setter... Okay, so I guess there's... Yeah, here comes Kingdra in the back, but Kingdra is shut down by Celebi. What's the Celebi answer? Has to be a Doug Trio on this team, right? Also, Polyrath doesn't have Swift Swim this generation. It only has Water Absorb and Damp. So it doesn't... It can't even, like, Belly Drum, Swift Swim, Sweep or anything like that. Wow, just all of these really weird, quirky rain teams. I don't even know what to say. I feel like this music doesn't even fit, but I mean... Okay, Gold Moist is the one thinking now, scrambling with the fact that there's a Polyrath, but I mean, Jolteon Salabi seems pretty okay into Polyrath, and we don't even know what the Polyrath is. It could be like a Belly Drum Salak set. It's Dragon Dance Kingdra? No way this clicks Hidden Power Bug. No, Click Hidden Power Bug right now and I'll freak out. There's no way this is HP Bug. I, I've heard about HP Bug on Kingdra before just to chip down Salabi for like a rain team. Like, Rain Dance, Ice Beam, Surf, and then you go Hidden Power Bug just to chunk Celebi, which is so annoying for Rain Teams. Here comes Titar. No way. Oh, it was HP Bug! And Gold Moist scouts for it. That is awesome. Great play from Gold Moist. Wow, Fast Hands is just bringing some insane heat. And here comes Celebi, which eats the Hydro Pump. Gold Moist is pivoting super well around this obscure Kingdra. Um, it clicks Ice Beam. Okay, why not HP Bug? I don't understand. HP Bug did a lot more than Ice Beam there. Maybe there was calling some sort of mid-ground, but HP Bug looks pretty free here. What does Gold Mo what does Gold Moist pivot out into? Nothing switches into the combination of Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Hidden Power Bug, it seems. Does Gold Moist bring out... Okay, Celebi's gonna come in instead. I guess Kingdra's gonna try to stay alive, but I don't know how at 18% Kingdra's gonna get up a Dragon Dance and actually do something. Here comes Calm Mind on a Baton Pass. Is there a Doug Trio in the back? Don't go it now, but what comes into a Calm Mind Selby? Something physical, something to pressure. We could see a Metagross in the back. Um, unless Gold Moist really doesn't like the fact that Selby just clicked Calm Mind. They're pausing here. I feel like you just go a big physical attacker, like a like a Metagross. Um, it's Leech Seed Psychic Recover Baton Pass. Interesting that Baton Pass is on this set over something like... Hidden Power Fire, or Giga Drain, or HP Grass. Um, interesting. 
Okay, Gold Moist has really taken their time on this one. What do I do about the Calm Mind Celebi? Wow, Rain Dance Jolteon lead with Polyrath in the back. That I mean, that, that just blows my mind. Let's see, that's going to the thumbnail. Easy thumbnail. Thanks, Polyrath. And thank you, Fast Hands 251 Wow, Gold Moist is really thinking about this. In comes Metagross. Yep, here comes Metagross. I mean, maybe just... Hidden Power Fire would chunk this right now and probably put it into range of Jolteon. The problem is, is that Jolteon doesn't have leftovers for some reason. I don't understand. Maybe it's like Lumberry. Zard comes in on a mash. This is huge threatening Fire Blast. And Titar, what if Fast Hands clicks Focus Punch right now on the Titar? Oh, I, is it Sunny Day? Why is there Charizard on a Rain Team? That also makes zero sense. Here comes Focus Punch. Oh, on the Starmie. Nice mid ground from Gold Moist. Fast Hands was trying to get crazy with it, but this is this is also not the right music for this, I, I declare. We're shuffling, and we're clicking. I guess we'll go to Maple Story. All you guys apparently freak out about Maple Story. Please load. Anyway, well, this is also slow paced, I guess. But either way, uh, that was a great mid round by Mold Gold Moist. Star me here. Um, this team is screaming Doug Trio, is what I'm thinking, with Jolteon. Celebi having baton pass, Jolteon having baton pass. Doug Trio helps this team with like Dragon Dance Tyranitar a bit, like max speed Dragon Dance Tyranitar. Even Metagross is a little bit annoying, but either way, Celebi comes in on the T wave. That's a safe switch into Starmie. What comes into Celebi? Probably a Metagross. Does Fast Hands double into Zard there? Let's see if the double into Zard. Of course. I mean, Fast Hands is just on top of this game with the doubles. Really impressive plays from Fast Hands, and confident plays as well. Here comes Selby into a Fire Blast. Why? Why? Was that predicting a Focus Punch or something? Don't understand that one. Was that like... I don't even know. Yeah, here comes... Oh, unfortunate Blaze Fire Blast miss. That would have chunked that Starmie. Wouldn't have killed it, but would have forced to recover. Now Gold Voiced can do whatever they want with this Starmie. And Zard with the Sand Up is on a timer doesn't seem to have a berry it would have act no oh there goes surf i think uh i don't know why you sacked the zard i think zard did a lot of things versus celebi and metagross especially metagross um you could double it out into metagross again when celebi comes into starmie i think there was i think there was a lot of opportunity there to go into celebi and then double back out into zard again not sure I agree with this one. And Jolteon's gonna die. It either clicks Thunderbolt and dies or clicks Rain Dance and Starmie revenges it. Can they call it? Oh, T Wave into Jolteon. That's not what Gold Moist wants to see, but please run lefties on your Jolteon. Even if you're running Rain Dance, always run leftovers on Jolteon. I really don't think anything else is super viable. Um, like maybe Lumberry on some really really offensive teams that don't want to get t-waved by jolteon or starmie or blissey well not that bliss not that jolteon would ever come in on a blissey but you know stuff like that i guess i could maybe understand but i think leftovers is just so important as a move as an item because of sand and you guys can see it here really would strongly advise like trying something other than leftovers on a lot of pokemon either way flygon's exerting a lot of pressure here selby can't come into earthquake all of these Pokemon take huge damage from Earthquake. Um, let's see if Gold Moist has a flying immunity in the back. I'm going to assume they do. So maybe it's not Dugtrio. Maybe it's something like a like a Salamence in the back. Maybe it's something like a... I don't know. I mean, Salamence could make sense. But I feel like this team struggles with Blissey then. Like, really struggles with Blissey. So I feel like it actually is Dugtrio in the back. And that's why Gold Moist is scrambling right now. <clears throat> This is why I think on a team like this, I think Zapdos makes sense over Jolteon. Um, the team is already fine versus Starmie if it has Celebi, their own Starmie. Dugtrio, Metagross can tank a Starmie hit. Oh, it's Heracross. Okay, I mean, that also pressures Blissey, I guess. And is another ground resist, so you know what? Okay, we got Heracross coming in. What does Fast Hands do about Heracross? Clicks Rock Slide. Does it get a flinch? No flinch, and Heracross has clicked Swords Dance. This is looking scary. Um, this is looking spooky. What does Fast Hands have about it? Reveal Gust right now. If only this was Gust Flygon. Which is a thing. Toxic misses on the Mega Horn. Down goes Flygon. Uh, what's the answer to this Heracross? Polyrath isn't an answer. Okay. Is Selby faster? Selby is faster. Threatens with Psychic. I, does Gold Moist respect it? Yes, they do. In comes Psychic and Selby's gonna drop to the sand. What's the answer to Selby though? 
It has to be Metagross again. Fast Hands could just pivot out into Polyrath. And what's super funny is that if this is Damp Polyrath over Water Absorb, it'll actually block the boom. Okay, here comes Agility. I think Polyrath walls Agility Metagross. I think Polyrath walls Agility Metagross. What? Dude, this is just so insane. I love this game, honestly. And God, ADP is so sick. I feel like it's a rare metagame where you can get away with creative stuff. What is gold? It did click Earthquake. Hypnosis! <laughs> I bet this is Hypnosis Belly Drum. Oh my God, it's Rain Dancing. <laughs> Why is it Rain Dancing? Why is it Special Polyrath? <laughs> What is happening? Why is it special polyrath? I don't know. I'm freaking out. It's hypnosis rain dance. It wakes up. It's damp and it hits another hydro pump. <laughs> oh my god! Gold voice tried to click explosion, expecting it to be water absorb. I am dead. I am I am so dead right now. Like lol, I'm dead. But no, like I am feeling that right now. Oh my gosh, that is the funniest thing ever. Oh my, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe this. That is the funniest thing ever. Brick break this T-Tar right now. Brick break this T-Tar right now. Oh, it's just gonna Hydro Pump again on the Starmie. I'm so dead. I mean, Gold Voice could definitely still win. There's a whole hair across, but here comes Selby. No, on the T-Wave. Okay, I think you gotta pivot out. You can't let Heracross come in and just get a kill. Right? Do you pivot out here? Let's see. They call the double. Oh, they're paralyzed. Okay, T-Tar is going to Pursuit Trap the Selby. You had to pivot out there. Pursuit T-Tar was coming in. This is bad. Um, This is really bad. Gold Moist crunches. Fast Hands trying to predict, tries to predict Pursuit. Gets a crit Giga Drain. That's so huge. Do you, I think you just Giga Drain again here. I think you just Giga Drain again. Oh, no. Catches the Pursuit. Selby's not dead yet, though. Is going to be faster than the Heracross, but not the Starmie. Starmie looks like it can just clean here. Hydra Pump hits, hitting all the pumps. I think Starmie cleans. Unless it's T-Wave Surf Recover Rapid Spin. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Hold on. Salak Berry! No! It misses the Hypnosis! <laughs> it needed that to win. That's so sad. Hold on. I mean... Uh, I think this is over. You got a psychic. I mean, here comes Starmie. Don't wait. Imagine if that recovered there. I, I mean, okay. Either way, I think Celebi and Kingdra have lost the game. Unless it's unless it's Surf. I think Kingdra might live a Surf at four times resists. Wait a second. Does Kingdra live? It gets T-waved. Hold on. HP bug. This is over. I think Heracost just revenges and it wins. What in the actual world is this series? Rock Slide finishes off the Kingdra. I am I am blown away by this series. Oh, if Hypnosis hit, that was the game. But you know what? You can only hit so many Hypnosises. You can only hit so many Hydro Pumps. That was actually insane. That was an insane series. And it's not even over. We're on to game three. What in the world is Fast Hands 251 going to bring? This is unbelievable. I feel like, uh, I mean, I, I don't even know. I, I, I'm excited for game three. Cannot wait. This is too exciting. We have game three, fast hands on the top, gold moist on the bottom. It's Charizard versus Aerodactyl. This was the same lead as game one, which, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this is the same lead as game one, which fast hands took. Okay, might be the same team. I think it is the same team. I wonder if Gold Moist also is using the same team. Is this just going to be a game one rematch? Um, problem is on this one. Hold on a second. I'm just kind of pulling over, pulling up the replay. Uh, now that they both know each other's team uh, and Gold Moist knows that the Metacham isn't banned, I think Gold Moist is at a clear advantage. But uh, let's see how this plays out. I think Gold Moist is now looking back at the replay. Hey, this makes sense seeing what's going to happen. Um, what the switch in is, uh, I mean, let's see. Looks like the switch in is good. I mean, Flygon actually is good into that team. Could be Celebi. Maybe Fortress is an idea. Probably Swamper. Here comes Celebi in on an Earthquake. Yeah, and Fast Hands thankfully has leftovers on this Pokemon. Celebi's probably just going to click Leech Seed here. I don't think this Flygon has HP bug or it would have clicked it. 
Let's see what's happening. This should be an exciting game three. Fast hands could only bring so much heat, and I guess Gold Moist feels the same way. Seeing a seeing a game one rematch, like team wise, is always pretty interesting. This. Anyway, I'm sorry. We're back. Come on. Click moves, fast hands. I guess th they're both probably looking at the replay right now to figure out what they really want to do, which, you know what? Makes sense. I don't hate them for it. Um, yeah. Either way, we're hoping to get to it. Come on. What's the switch? I paused simply because it was taking too long. Metacham comes in on a sidekick. That's not what they want to see. Um... Yeah, I guess Fast Hands doesn't have a Celebi switch in on the team, except Aerodactyl. I think Aerodactyl would have been perfectly fine there. I don't really know why Metacham came in. Um, assuming this is the same team. Now Metacham is forced out from a Psychic for no reason. Um, I also don't understand not going into Blissey or Metacham. I guess the idea was maybe going into Metacham on like... Well, I guess what was on the team. I guess Metacham on... I don't even know. I I, I think they, maybe they're both trying to pull some insane doubles on like different things because they know what each other's team is. Here comes Calm Mind on the Pert. Pert's gonna click Toxic. Uh, Suicune's gonna get some big hits now. Could click Ice Beam on the Sweet Celebi switch in. That's what Fast Hands tries to do. Gets roared out instead, and this is not the switch in you want to see. Fast Hands is switching to Swampert. Is that is that Suicune? Because we know Jolteon's in the back. Gold Moist doesn't take advantage of that with an Earthquake. This might be Mono Pert, which is Toxic, Roar, Surf, and then Protect. Yep, that's what we see. And I don't think Fast Hands has uh, Rest on this sweep. I think it's Calm Mind, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump. Yep, here comes Roar. In comes Aerodactyl. Here's a free Hydro Pump or Ice Beam. Here comes Selby on an Ice Beam. Fast Hands calls it. Doesn't get much out of it, though, as Selby can just click Recover. We know it's Recover. Selby, I think you switch into Zard here on the Recover or Psychic. Gold Moist opting to get Chip on Charizard. Um, what switches into Fire Blast here? Here comes Titar. Fast Hands can't pull the trigger. Oh, here comes Sub. Uh-oh, Sub Punch is looking deadly. And thankfully, the Zard has leftovers. Sub Punch is looking deadly. Um, here comes Focus Punch. In on the Swapper. Swapper's going to take a huge bit of damage. We know Gold Moist has uh, Moltres here, so Moltres could very well come in. But then again, it doesn't really do much to Zard. Here comes Protect. On the HP Grass. How is Gold Moist going to pivot around this Charizard behind a sub? It's actually quite scary. It's not in Blaze range, but it is scary for this team. Okay, Moltres is going to come in on a Hidden Power Grass. That was a good pivot from Gold. Um, I feel like you could have just clicked Fire Blast. There. There's no way the Swampert ever stays in, right? I mean, there's just no way that Swampert wants to take that much damage. Moltres comes in to Roar. There's the answer to the Charizard. Imagine if it got two... Fire Blasts off. That would have been huge. Selby walls this Jolteon. We know that this Jolteon is Hidden Power Grass from Game 1. Can Fast Hands pull a switch? No, it's going to be Sub. Okay, so I think we're maybe going to see a Substitute plus Baton Pass. Here comes T-Wave trying to fish for Paralysis. Gets the Paralysis. Okay, hold on. What is this Jolteon doing? Is this a curse? Is this curse? Okay, no, it's just Thunderbolt. Why aren't you, why aren't you just Baton Passing there? I don't understand. And I also don't understand why this Jolteon isn't leftovers. What is Fast Hands cooking? What is this Jolteon doing? Again, I don't understand the Thunderbolt there at all. Just Baton Pass if you... Oh, it doesn't have it. Wait, it doesn't have it. It's sub T-Wave Thunderbolt HP Grass. Okay, Celebi's paralyzed. Doesn't want to take a band hit. Shadow Ball here from Metacham. What's the pivot? It is the Fortress, which eats a Shadow Ball easily. And Metacham is getting chipped down. I think Gold Moist is definitely favored to win this one, but maybe Fast Hands could pull something. High Jump Kick does a good amount to Fortress, but in comes Spikes, and Metacham is getting lower and lower. Is Gold Moist going to just stay in? Here comes Zard on a boom. I don't think that's what Fast Hands wanted. I think Charizard was a huge threat. Um, yeah, Zard was a huge threat. It had an opportunity to sub, and it wouldn't die to Sand, and it would be in Blaze range. I think Fast Hands made a... Made a misplay there. I think I think Metacham was easily the less viable Pokemon there. Fast Hand sees it differently. Yeah, I think you just should have stayed with Metacham. You get Chip on the Fortress, or you just get boomed on. Um, yeah, and Aerodactyl's taking Chip from Psychic now. Um, I guess Aerodactyl is somewhat of a threat, but with Swampert in, here comes T-Tar to eat a Hidden Power Bug. Or no, what? Why did that... Wait, what? Oh, it's Hidden Power Flying. But that did nothing. Why did that do nothing? 
I thought Hidden Power Flying would do more than 17% to a Tyranitar. Here comes Swampert easily. Yeah, eats a Hidden Power Bug. Wait, so why did you not use it versus Selby in the first place? Oh my gosh, this frustrates me. Here comes Roar on a sub. Um, yeah, I think Gold Moist has this and is bringing it back. I think the 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 cooking from uh I think the cooking from Fast Hands Kitchen has uh become a little bit predictable. Is how I would put it. Protect. Okay, Joltown comes in, but it's gonna die to well, it's not gonna die to the next sand, but Swamper can just click protect here. Auto hand power grass, and now Gold Moist can just very safely go Selby here and won't get punished. Maybe T Wave. Okay, I don't agree with the Hidden Power Grass. I think Fast Hands is just not playing well now. I think they're falling apart. Aerodactyl does have a chance, of course, because <clears throat> you got to chip down that Swampert, though, and I just don't see what the method of chipping down the Swampert is. I guess it's Hidden Power Flying, but uh, Swampert could just click. Oh, no, don't sack your Aerodactyl. Oh, wow, Toxic Miss. Fast Hands catches a break there. Um, I think Suicune should come in right about now. Rockslide can win this game. Oh no, why are you staying in? I think Suicune should be coming in right about now. Here comes Suicune on a T-Tar. Okay, that's a good switch for Fast Hands. Surf is going to do something, or you can Ice Beam the Celebi. Um, let's see what Fast Hands does. You could also double into Aerodactyl right now, but the problem with that is, is that, uh, I mean, Celebi would live a Hidden Power Flying from Band, and then you could psychic chip the aerodactyl and then any chip will kill it but i guess at this point any chip would kill aerodactyl anyway what i like about keeping aerodactyl healthy though at 57 is that it'll eat a banned double edge from aerodactyl and that's aerodactyl's main way of hitting the flygon um so i think don't i think you keep the aerodactyl healthy 100 now until you know that you threaten something with a kill like moltres or until Aerodactyl is the last Pokemon. So Gold Moist needs to keep the Swampert healthier at all costs. And I'd say probably the T-Tar and the Selby if possible. Yep, Ice Beam. That's not what Gold Moist wants to see. But it's probably just going to click Recover here on another Ice Beam. Fast Hands trying to fish for a Freeze or a Crit. And now, yep, Suicune dies. Uh, yeah, here comes Metacham. But Metacham's going to die. So is it just Arrow in the end game? Is that the plan? Trying to flinch the Tyranitar? Why would you ever go Metacham here instead of Flygon and click Hidden Power Bug? That makes zero sense to me. Here comes Moltres on a Shadow Ball. All right. Wow. Shadow Ball did a lot. And looks like the Moltres is faster. Never mind. It's Salak Berry. Hold on a second. Fast Hands has a chance. All of a sudden, Fast Hands has a chance. Shadow Ball takes down the Moltres. Celebi's at 64. Oh my god. Oh no, but Protect is gonna take out the Metacham. Never mind. Oh, it's gonna kill itself with the high jump kick. Oh, I've totally forgot about that. Here comes Flygon. Flygon's gonna try to chip down the Swampert. Gold Moist should switch out. Doesn't wanna take chip. Oh, I disagree with this play. I mean, yeah, now you just go out to Flygon again. Just go to Flygon. I mean, you could actually, you could click Hidden Power Flying here. You could click Hidden Power Flying. I think that's fine. I forgot how much did it do to Pert last time? It did, it did 34. So actually that's not the play. Please switch out. Please switch out to Flygon. Aerodactyl's your only way to win. I mean, I guess Flygon can win actually. Here comes Aerodactyl on a hand power flying. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on a second. I mean, I guess Flygon can Earthquake the Swampert, Hidden Power Bug the Celebi. It's Hidden Power Flying on a double edge and Aerodactyl lives. Fast Hands can win this. Here comes T-Tar. That was a good pivot. That was a good pivot. I think oh, you could have gone to Flygon. Does this have Roar? No, it gets Pursuit Trapped. Okay. Flygon has to somehow win. Flygon has to win. It has to Earthquake and kill the Tyranitar. But this T-Tar might have Ice Beam. It's Hidden Power bugging. It's Crunch. Oh, I think that's in I think that's in double-edge range. That's definitely in double-edge range. We know that from game one. Hidden Power bug. Why aren't you just Earthquaking? I don't understand that. Here comes Aerodactyl to finish it off. I think this is over. What a showing from Fast Hands, but Gold Moist pulls it out in the end. Good lord, what a game. <clears throat> what a game. Congrats to Gold Moist for going 1-1. One and one. Fast Hands, I guess, is 0-2, but man, they, they, I mean, they played really well game 1 and game 2. Here's some donations. We're at some new totals.